Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red. And I was saying I need a, a pastor of rhythm to say some, say a prayer for my opening show, and this is my anniversary show. And I said, who better to get their ass than somebody been knowing me most of my life? So uh, what's your name, Rip? Reverend Nathaniel Wilder, the pastor of the Little Rock AME Zion Church, Grand Bay, Alabama, Fernland Community. Grand Bay, Alabama. Yes. All right, what's the phone number? 251-508-5441. What's, what's the address? 251-508-5445. All right. 10,010 Fernland Road, oh. Grand Bay, Alabama. All right, we got some calls, y'all bear with us. Uh, I'm gonna need you to say all this is going across the screen where you can get in touch with a uh, Rev. Tell them who your dad is. My father ran Snook's place for many, many years, Nathaniel Wilder Sr. That's right. This is baby here. This is offspring here. And he's going to say an opening prayer. Because yeah. we need prayer, Rip. There's too much going on. This, this it's a lot going on. Like all across the world, it's all kinds of stuff going on. But especially in this country, because of this election and because of the candidate, we got all kinds we got of evil folks. and wicked Ooh. stuff going on. Yeah, people falling yes. out with each other. Right. Uh, falling out. I mean, been friends for years. They falling out. Yeah. I try to tell them I don't talk politics or religion, but I, and I try. To, all right, we got it. We can go with the opening prayer there, Chris. Oh, wise and all knowing, eternal and everlasting Father, the Maker of heaven and earth and the sustainer thereof, we praise thee, we worship thee, we magnify thy holy name. For you are worthy to be praised at all times. Even in times like these, we're going to praise you because we know that you are still in control. So, Father God, we ask now that you would just touch the hearts and the minds of the citizens of this country to let them know that we don't have to treat one another like enemies just because of an election. You might be a Republican, I'm a Democrat, but we still need to show respect and love towards one another. You have a right to vote for whomever you want to vote for, but we need to stop this foolishness. So I'm asking, Father God, that you would touch the hearts and the minds of your children who call themselves children of God, but they are not acting that way. Touch the hearts and minds of some of your preachers who are not acting like they are called to preach. This, this election has brought the worst out of your children. So I'm asking, Father, that you touch this country, touch this nation, touch your people. Let them know that they don't have to treat each other like enemies just because of an election. And we'll be ever so grateful to give you all the praise and all the glory and the lift of your son, Jesus. And then find favor with Jazzy Red's show. She's been doing this now for years on her own. And so find favor with her. Find somebody. She need a benefactor, somebody that can help her financially. And we'll be ever so grateful if you'll send somebody her way to help her because this is a good work that she's doing. So we just thank you today. We just thank you today. We just thank you today. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, stand Hallelujah. there. Stand there, Rib. I'm going to try to come over there and put myself on part there. Just stand right there. Uh, <laughs> don't move, Rib. I've been on 15 years, y'all. Yes. Uh, and anybody know me, this man here know me. Yes, sir. Um, my mom yes. was good friends with yes. your dad. Yes, she was. And, and that's, that. I mean, we come out the, the bottom, the campground, Charlie Reed. Off the avenue. Off the avenue. That's Davis just all avenue. of it. Not all Martin Luther King, yeah. Davis Avenue. Yeah, we come all off of that. Yes, Orange Grove Prizes, all in the Roger bottom. We was in Roger we, we was everywhere. That's right. All on this side of town. That's it. That's oh, it. Wow. And we still love each other. That's man. right. I love Lord, you. I bro. love each other. <laughs> I love you. Until the Lord call us home. That's right. We're going to be there for one another. Wow. And thank y'all for viewing my sister. I got a, a lot of hits on YouTube with my baby Amen. sister that passed. So, uh, Y'all know Nadine, Spruill, Edwards, Boop. I call yes. all her name. Nadine, Edwards, Spruill, Boop. Yes. Uh, she going on to sleep with the Lord now. Hallelujah. I know where she going. Yeah. I appreciate you, Rev. I tell them again. I want you to tell them again your uh, your address and give them the name of the church. 
Reverend Nathaniel Wilder, Jr., I pastor the Little Rock AME Zion Church in the Fernland community of Grand Bay. The address is 10,010 Fernland Road, Grand Bay, Alabama, 36541. And you can reach me at 251-508-5445. 251-508-5445. God bless you today. Yeah, y'all call me if y'all need rib to do a funeral or uh, officiate a funeral or whatever. I ought to pray for you. Yes. I, I mean, he ain't gonna, I, I, I rang him up. He don't, He picked the phone up. I said, yes. okay, I need a prayer, rib. You ready? Amen. He said, come on. He don't turn me down now. God called me to work. Wow. And, and that's a good thing, though. That's it. Hey, anybody can change, can't you, yeah. real? Lord Man, I used to be in the club doing a robot, dancing, and everything. Because I haven't always been this way. God called me from the streets of Mobile. Told you to come on out. life that wasn't pleasing to nobody. Wow. Wasn't even pleasing to me, but I was out there <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Amen. We think we having fun, yeah, though. Right. Yeah, we think we having fun and Slowly smiling. Killing ourselves. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, all of it, from cigarettes to the alcohol. I go in there Everything. and buy somebody a drink. Amen. I'm working at the shipyard. I'm help killing them, real. Yeah. Buy them a drink. I, I don't even want it nowhere near me. And I'm just so <laughs> grateful that my life turned around. Ain't that something? I had no idea that I was going to be called into the ministry try to run from it, but God caught up with me. Wow. Amen. Dad, I, didn't ask, I didn't ask for this. Wow. I was happy teaching Sunday school. Wow. But, but you worked You worked all but, your life, though? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Worked in the shipyard, Listen, right? We come from an era where we worked. We worked. We Stay had out work. all night partying, put on our work clothes, and go to work. Put that hard hat on and go straight that, in the shipyard. That's it. Yes, sir. Uh, for a long time. Today, they don't know how to do that. God, they better work because our social security is going to be knocking at that door and ain't going to be nothing for you. If you don't put nothing in the bank, you don't get nothing out. That's it. Well, if you don't put nothing in God bank, if you ain't with God, you, ain't, you can't look for it that's to get it. something out if you don't put nothing in there. My father told me before he died, whatever you do, son, save you a dollar. Wow. Save you. And I'm going to tell you just like he told me. You need to have you some money put away. I love your wife. She's like a daughter to me. But you don't never know what can happen. And you'll need some money to get you a hotel room till you can find you somewhere to live. You are right, Greer. And I heard him. Wow. I heard him. Y'all men do better than me women sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm a free order. And, and I'm a free order, real. Always had me an extra dollar. Always had a dollar. That's right. I be saying, if I if I spend it all Friday, I'll be back. I'll be Amen. back for next Friday. Amen. No, I, but that's good. That's good to say. It I is. Love I love you, too. We love you, too. All right. Y'all get real because all his information have been going across the screen. Yes. Jazz Red been on 15 years. We finna do a show. Jazz Red, Amen. we love you. Thank you, Red. All right. All right. All right. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red. Uh, we up here at uh, E&J. E&J have been on 15 years now, and you've been right with me. We've been on 15 years, man. We're at E&J Auto Repair. We're at 2251 Costa Rica. Telephone number 251-479-1317. I want to wish Jazzy a happy anniversary. <laughs> I'll happy take that. I don't celebrate birthday, but I'll take it for the show. Yes, yes, All yes. right. You've been right with me. If it wasn't you, it was your dad, yep, you know? Yep, yep. Nah, well, tell dad, him. Dad, he would put me up to doing a commercial, so he <laughs> wouldn't want to do the commercials, but... Yeah, God bless, God bless. We appreciate Jazzy. God bless many more. Uh, we love you. Uh, be careful, be safe, and uh, our prayers are with you. All right, tell them, uh, tell them what you do. We're at E&J Auto Repair, 2251 Costa Rita's telephone number 251-479-1317. If you give us a call right now, the landline is down. Uh, we had to have another roof put on, so the guys, they decided they wanted to cut the cable. But we're trying to have that repaired. But come by and see us. We do repairs. We do paint body work also. So come by and take a look. All right. All that is going across the screen where y'all can come and let him look. Let him tell you about your car, man. So you keep me rolling. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you. Jazz are red. We love you. Love hey, Cozy. Hey, Jazzy, how you doing? All right, I come up here because I'm going to tell you, I've been on 15 years this oh, week. Oh, man, what a, <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Yeah. 
15 years, 15 I tell you, years. that's good. And I know you've been doing a great job, you know. And, I, I love film, and I like and, putting and people out there. Not only, on the, um, not only just being on the show, it, you, you so much help to other people. You're always trying to help somebody, you know, and, and people don't understand that, I don't think. <laughs> I think they just think it's all about you being, uh, having a show, you know. But anyway, congratulations, 15 years, I, I mean, that's a milestone. It is. I mean, you don't time. find too many people last that long in, in a small business, you know, 15 years. 15 years. That means you've been doing some wonderful things. Thank you. And you just keep it up. They get mad at me sometimes. And, and, and try, to get, <laughs> try to get you 15 more. I don't try to get 15 more. Yeah. They get mad at me sometimes because I care. My children be saying, leave it alone, mama. Stop trying to help people. Yeah. Leave it alone. But they know my heart is in it. Well, so. that's what keeps you going, you know. It do. It trying do. to help. That keep me going. And that's what it takes, you know. We all should be in that, in that kind of spirit, you know trying to help somebody. And everybody kind of tensed up about this election. Yeah, we well, want them to get out and vote. Though. Yeah, just get I out mean, and vote. Just get know, out and vote. And, and uh, it's something that we all should do. You know, voting is something that uh, men are by. Uh, people lost their lives and got beat up. And sure got, did. Got uh, water hole, every, well, everything. Yeah, the water holes and, on it. And, <laughs> and, and, you know, we owe that to them. Even if we just go in there and just, just close your eyes and pull the lever, it don't <laughs> matter. You need to vote. Need to go in there. Yeah, and let them know that we did appreciate, you know, let, let their family know yeah. that we appreciate them, what they went through. Yeah, they went through a lot, man. Yeah. At one time, you had to count how many and, uh, bubble gum was in a jar, yeah, and cotton really, balls. And really, it disturbs me when somebody tells me they don't vote, you know. I, <laughs> I really that bothered really, me I, too. I have a problem with that. Yeah, I do. I yeah, do too. And, and we just wish that all of our people would. I mean, I'm talking to my people in general. You know, yeah. stop having that attitude about you don't vote. Like what it's gonna do. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's stupid. That. Yeah, whether you feel like you count or not, vote. We still go in there. Still yeah, we got need, to go we in. We need there. to vote. Don't get discouraged. Please don't get discouraged. And, and like I say, if you got to go in that blindfold, just pull the lever. You know, <laughs> don't know who you want to pull. Close that go in that blindfold. Yeah, <laughs> vote. Make sure you vote. Just go in there and vote. Huh? Yeah, that's something that you know uh, we are committed to do. And I and I wish that everybody would do that. You know, let's make sure you go and vote. Yeah, all, all of them. John yeah, P. Lewis, yeah, um, yeah, Martin Luther yeah, King. Yeah, man. Oh, man, come man, on, man. They went through a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah, and if you read any of them Black History books yeah, in there, Mama it, told you about how it was. Yeah, so. and that's <laughs> right. And it's been all on TV. I mean, you can't miss it. You know. Yeah, it's been uh, Facebook and. That's right. That's, lies, that's the truth, right. and the lies. Everything been coming out. And 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 and. Uh, voting is a it, it is a powerful tool. It is. It it's is a powerful tool. We just want you to get out and, and vote. We just we must use get out and vote. Tuesday, get out and vote. Yes, sir. This Tuesday coming up. That's right. We're gonna pray on it. Put this show in there, and it'll be in on Saturday. Saturday night, y'all looking at it right on your calendar, your refrigerator. That's right. Don't get That's discouraged. Right. Go and vote Tuesday. And Jazz, we just really appreciate you. Keep it out there, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm keep on trying. Keep it out there. I'm gonna keep on trying. Oh yeah, we I'm gonna keep on trying. Uh, and, and, and again, I say, you know, congratulations to you, your 15 years, and, uh, and not only just for the show, but most of all, just for the things you do. And I mean, I'm talking about you go from here to uh, China to get something for somebody. If you know somebody need it, well, you go get it. If, if you make contact with somebody, say, well, I got a, a little bed, a little uh, pair of shoes or something somebody need, well, you're going to go get it. I don't care if you got the hustle the gas money up or whatever, you're going to get it. I'm going to get it. And I, I mean, that is, that is really, I mean, that's a, that, that, that is something to say. You it's, know? it's networking, um, yeah. Cozy. I want to yeah. thank everybody that gave me clothes and shoes yeah. and food or canned goods to help anybody. Thank you all. I want to thank all of you. And, yeah, and, and thank you, Cozy, because I will come and ball it cold. I come up here and upset Cozy by somebody need their lights cut off. Yeah, we need to get right. together and that's right. help them with some money. And Cozy always giving. Y'all know Cozy yeah, gives. Yeah, and that's, always. You know, and that's what it's all about. You know, that's what we should do. You know, we got to 
learn to help one another. That that is right. And though. we don't look at the condition of the person, what they're doing, or how they're doing it. It don't matter. If they need help, they just need help. They, you know? it, that's right. That's right. I don't. I don't say, uh, ain't you got a. Oh, uh, you got some kids where the baby day. I don't yeah. ask none of that. That's that ain't right. none of my business. It ain't got nothing to do with it. It ain't got nothing to do with some children needing some shoes or hunger or something. It, yeah. it don't make no sense. I'm, yeah. I'm a network. I'm a call. All I'm going to do is just call around and try to get it. That's right. Get it. And always it. remember God going to bless you for what you do. Not be not what somebody else did or what you asking somebody or what they're not doing. He going to bless you for what you do. That is right. Kobe. And that's what we have to do and have to keep in mind. God going to bless us for what we do, you know, no matter what the other person is doing. That's up to them. If they need help, they just need help. I don't care what they do. And you sure do it, though, That's buddy. right. That's right. <laughs> You'll help anybody. Yeah. you just trying to. If they, if they got an effort, and we have to make an effort. Everybody got to make an effort. But Cole is just help me, man. I'll be looking at you little oh, cock yeah. sometimes, well, you, you know. know. Well, the Lord told me I was here to help my people, so that's what I got to do. And that's what you're doing, yeah, too. Yeah, that's what I do. Now, how man. long you been in business, Cole? I've been in business for 14 years. All right, tell them a little bit about your business. 48 then. years. Well, when I first went in business, I had a, a seafood market. Okay. And that, the, the name of it was Brother Seafood. And, you know, I started out, you know, really, I, I bought a big bus, and I was taking our senior citizens to the grocery store, pay their bills, and to the doctor. And I was even going to the nursing home, getting the ones out of there that was that, well, whether they could go, if they just had a mind to go, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll pick them up, lift them up, yeah. and, and take them to church. We went to different churches every Sunday. You know, somebody uh, just passed, Mr. Samuel, Mr. Samuel told me you picked them up on the bus and yeah. took them to the beach. Yeah, well, I took them to the beach. I used to go out to Municipal Park wow. and, and give uh, picnics, you know. Wow. We have good barbecue out there and it, man, it was some good times. Wow. Yeah. Go well, get them. Ain't that something? Yeah. Just go sure pick did. them up and help them. And, and the elderly people need that. Y'all check on your elderly well, people. Well, that's man. right. That's right. Yeah, you just know, check on them. We need to let them know that they're still alive and mm -hmm. that they're humans. That's right. That's and, right. And, you know, even people in the nursing home now, you know, that a lot of them is just passing because of loneliness, because they don't feel like nobody cares. Wow. So if you have a member in the nursing home, please go by and check on them. And if, you, uh, if you're passing, you have some members in the nursing home, let them know you love them. Let them know they still exist. And I guarantee you it'll make a difference in their lives. And Coles is really into that nursing home. He yeah, go there. And, and He'll go there himself. Yeah, go and right I, on in when there. When I go there, I look for the ones that don't have anybody that visiting them, or they don't have any relatives. That those are the ones I look for. Those are the ones they need. And, and try to help them and do wow. what I can, you know. And sometimes if you give them a dollar, they're just excited. They're just like little kids, you know. Wow. Just buy a little dollar. You know, now Donna don't find that these days. You can't even get a cold drink. So, but they'd be excited. They'd be excited. Just to know that somebody cares. Yeah. And, oh, that, yes. and, and that's what we have to do. You know, we got to show some compassion and love for our people. And that's a great and, thing. And regardless of where they are, you know, we, we have to do that. And, we, we, and that's a commitment we have to God. And to love you one another. When I when I read it, Coles, in the Bible, and it said, uh, for visiting me when I was sick and feeding me yeah. when I was hungry, giving me a drink of water. When That's I read right. it, I said, I told my daughter, I said, she was little dear. I said, Mama, doing right. I'm doing right. Come yeah. read. Come look at it. You know? Yeah, but it's we just, supposed but, to help. That's right. Yeah. When, 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 when you were sick, you didn't visit me. When you was naked, you mm. didn't close me. When you need shelter, you didn't put no shelter over my head. And when I was hungry, you didn't feed me. And then that was done unto the Lord, you know. So now, if you don't do these things, you're not doing anything to the Lord. And if you do these things, you're doing it unto the Lord. That's what it is. He says, exactly when you what do unto said. the least ones, mm -hmm. you're doing unto me. That's right. And that's what we have to keep in mind, you know. And now, we got to determine who are the least ones, you know. That is right. We that can't is judge right. and, and say, well, this or that, you know. He said the least ones, 
don't that, look down. That, and that means anybody that can't do for themselves. That's right. Don't look down on nobody, That's right. Y'all. Just don't look down on nobody. That's right. You'll wake up and have a good day every day. That's you right. really will. That's right. We now can. tell them where your restaurant at, uh, uh, Jeff. 43, I mean, uh, 40 Cozy Brown and Sons Kitchen at 4395 St. Stephen's Road, 8 Mile. And that number is 251-456-4468. You can phone in your order and Glad to have it ready for you when you get here. Now he serves uh, soul food. He serves seafood, soul food, mm -hmm. and barbecue. And real soul food. Now we don't, we don't play, we don't fake. We have real soul food. Yeah, <laughs> my son come by here and he had to just put it on Facebook. He said he told him, yeah, I'm, I'm Jazz Red's uh, son. He said he had to come by here and check you out. Yeah, yeah, well, we, we don't know what other people do or whatever, but we know what we do. <laughs> Yeah. We, we, we he serve, love it. Yeah, we serve real soul food. We put a lot of time in it, and it's a little costly, but we have to do it. Yeah, got to do it. Yeah, because well, okay, Cozy, I got some other people I got to go try to catch. All right, Jasmine. I appreciate you. Thank well, you so much. God Thank bless you. you, and you'll be safe. Thank you for being a and friend. We, and, we, and we just wish you a many, many more. Thank you. Many, many more years on TV. And we're going to pray on Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jazz Red, up at Cozy Brown, we love you. God bless. Jazz Red Talk Show, and uh, I'm your host, Jazz Red. We're at Word Alive, Alive Vision Ministries with uh, Senior Pastor and Bishop Robert Baskin, Jr., Word Alive Ministries Church. We have a home going. Peace out. It's good to be here, even though it's not always a normal occasion, but it's good to be here Amen. today. Amen. Amen. I give honor to the Holy Ecclesiastical staff. Amen. Bishop Baskin, to the family today. Amen. We have our prayers and our love. Amen. Just want to make sure I don't go over my three minutes. Amen. Praise the Lord. I met Lucius. Amen. As we called him. Amen. Praise the Lord. When I met Minister Kenyatta. Amen. And that's about 28 years ago. Amen. So that's why I always say I'm a part of the family. Yes. Amen. And when I met him, praise God, of course, I met Sister Frances and all the family. Amen. And when I met her, amen, Keyshawn was in diapers. So that's a long time. Yes. Amen. But I want to say, amen, he was a man of few words. Yes. Amen. But he was serious about business. Yes. And I really, really can reminisce today on when he would come to Word Alive. And he loved Word Alive. Yes. Amen. And I praise the Lord. I remember one uh, incident where Sister Frances had somewhere else to be, but Lucius let her know he wanted to be at Word Alive. Amen. So she had to drop him off at Word Alive. Amen. I just could picture in my head how he would walk around the offering table. Amen. And he would just make sure his clothes was fixed neat before he got up. Amen. He was particular. Amen. But I praise God. Amen. We're going to miss him. Amen. But we know that he's in a better place. Amen. 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 Praise God. Because sometimes people can have feelings that you yes. be, you're not even aware of. Amen. amen. And one incident, amen, just a week before he passed, Mr. Robinson called and told me that he said for her to tell me that he loved me. Amen. And then I said, me? You know, and watch this. It was a day I really wasn't feeling the best. You needed somebody to tell you you love them. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes, amen, we go through things you wouldn't imagine. Amen. But God used him to encourage me before he left this earth. Help me, somebody. Amen. I told her, I said, oh, my God. I just brought tears to my eyes. I felt so good not knowing that about a week later he would be gone. Amen. So I believe that he had some kind of feeling. Yes. Amen. That his time wasn't long. Amen. amen. So guess what? We don't sorrow for him. Amen. Because we got to do the same thing one day. Amen. 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 But I just praise God for his life. Amen. And that we're here to celebrate his life. Amen. amen. He loved Word Alive and Word Alive loved him. Amen. amen. I'm a pastor of this church. Amen. Praise God. And I was so glad. Amen. To get to know such a man. God bless you. Amen. Me on my show most of the time. Um, Francis is a uh, my good friend, and Lucius, I call him my man. Because Lucius, I would come in my work clothes over there. Uh -huh. Lucius wouldn't treat me any kind of way. Yes. He was right. kind. That's and when she, right. when Francis said, oh, he's out of rehabilitation, Red, I'm going to bring him back to see you, Jazz. I said, I ain't got no clothes on. She said, just come on out. But he was losing his eyesight, and I had, didn't think that. But he still, I said, you come out for me, Lucius. You came. He said, yeah. 
He come out for me. He come out for me, Lucia. You did good, Frank. You did good. You took care of your brother. Thank you. Amen. Now, Bishop Aston to the bereaved family, I bring you greetings from the Dearborn YMCA. Lucia came to the senior program there every day. And let me tell you, he was very special. We picked him up on the van. Could nobody get on that seat that he sat on but Lucia. <laughs> and I always told the seniors that no one had a special seat on the van. But Lucia's did. Right. Lucia came into the Y. He loved drawing and painting. The seniors loved him there. He was very, very special to me and everyone there. And to you, Francis, I thank God for a woman like you. You provided shelter, fed him, yes. you provided, uh, you visited him, I mean, you took care of the sick. You did everything that God was providing you, I mean, wanting you to do. I wish that somewhere down the line in my family member, that I had someone that I know gonna take care of me like Francis did her brother. Yeah. And not only that, wherever they came, you would thought that was Francis' husband. Yeah. That was just like both of them, we said, was cleaned up. She kept him very neatly, clean, and she loved her brother. Francis, you hold your head up. You did what God required you to do. And someone, I hope, gonna be there to look after you and take care of you the way you took care of your brother. And I just wanna tell you, don't you stop. Continue doing what you're doing for others like you did for your brother. And I am looking for you now, since Lucia's gone, to come back and be the part of the wife so we can love on you and continue to take care of you. We love you and thank God for a woman like you. Amen. Amen. We're so honored to be here today. Amen. We want to honor this family and give them the respect and the comfort, amen, that is due. Amen. We also, amen, honor, amen, the pastor of this church, amen, Pastor Stephanie, amen, the angel, amen, and the queen of this house. Amen. We thank God for Superintendent Watkins, amen. Amen. We thank God, amen, for Pastor Hunter, amen, and Pastor Lewis, amen. amen. And we thank God for Ella Lawson, amen. amen. Right. We thank God for all of y'all, amen, amen. Uh, Apostle Mayo, amen. amen. And we thank God for all of you that are in the audience, amen, unknown ministers and those that are hiding, amen. <laughs> amen. Yes, sir. But we do thank you. Amen, for being here to help us celebrate, amen, this occasion. Amen, amen. I was, uh, my wife had already said some things about him, amen, and pretty much, amen, he was a serious person. Amen. Amen, amen. he was always serious, amen, and every now and then, amen, even down to the years, I'll see him, he'll, he'll, he'll raise his hand up, I guess, I said, okay, I guess we're doing good. <laughs> amen. He'll lift his hand up. Yes, we're doing good. Amen. But we do thank God. Amen. For, amen. Um, he's going to be missed. Amen. amen. But he's our loss, but he's heaven's gain. Amen. 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 So, amen. Bear with me if you would. Amen. I'm not going to be long, I promise you. Amen. If you can just stay woke just long enough. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. But. But we just want to uh, call your attention, amen, to the Word of God, amen, in the book of Psalms, chapter 127, in 1 Corinthians, amen, 5, 1 and 2. All right. Amen. And in, first, in, in, in uh, Psalms 127, amen. I just want to read briefly, amen, because, amen, uh, 127 Psalms, he says, you have, amen. amen, 127 and 1, he said, if the Lord builds, except the Lord builds the house, they that labor in vain, they labor, they that labor, labor in vain. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman that watches, watches in vain. I just want to cap off, amen, uh, 
except the Lord build the house, the labor, they that labor, labor in vain. Amen. 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 Right. And now I want to go to First right. Corinthians, Amen. Five. Amen. Second Corinthians, Amen. Excuse me. Chapter five. Verses 1 and 2 and 3. For we know that if our earthly, earthly house of this tabernacle were resolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For this we groan earnestly, desire to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so that we be enclosed, we shall not be found naked. Amen. Amen. May God bless the reading of the word. Amen. 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 Uh, look at your neighbors that we're talking about a house. <laughs> Amen. 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 We're talking about a house. Amen. And here in the fifth chapter, Amen. Paul was talking to the Corinthian church. Uh, in, in the fourth chapter and in, this, and in this chapter amen he was dealing with the church and they had some issues and uh, Paul had uh, he kind of got everything under control and uh, he was dealing with the church amen and after he had done so amen he had to encourage the church because amen they had people in the church Amen. As uh, I believe it was what they call Sadducees that didn't believe really in the resurrection, and then they had some that did. Yeah. Amen. But they had caused a confusion in the church. Come on. Amen. And Paul was trying to straighten it out. Amen. Again. And he also did in Thessalonians. Amen. Uh, he had to straighten it out again. But in this chapter, amen, because Psalm was saying pretty much as there was no be a resurrection, or it wasn't a resurrection, or it had came. Amen. And so in here, Paul began to encourage the church, amen, to let them know, amen, that they still had hope, and they still had something to look forward to. Amen. Because if they didn't have the resurrection to look forward to, they didn't have any hope. Amen. Because if you don't have heaven to look forward to, you have no hope when you die. Amen. Because anybody in their right mind, if I'm be mistaken, amen, I believe Everybody want to go to heaven. Amen. Huh? I mean, if you're in your right mind, you do. Right. Amen. But the thing of it is, Paul was letting us know that uh, we are here in this life. We came here to leave. Yes. Amen. 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 We don't like to hear the leaving part, but we came here to leave. Amen. None of us came here to stay. No. Amen. Everything in this life, amen, is temporal. Yes. Amen. And so Paul began to explain Amen. To the church and be able to let them know, amen, that this earthly house that we dwell in, uh, he called it a tabernacle, which could be translated as a tent or a house or shelter. Something, amen, that we could be sheltered. Amen. But the Bible says, amen, Jesus is our shelter in a time of storm. Come on, somebody. Amen. So we are, amen, we, all of us have shelter. Amen. You have this earthly vessel, this earthly house, amen, this natural body that we live in. Amen. He's only given to us temporary. Temporary. Amen. We're only borrowing this body. Amen. Because we're only passing through. Come on somebody. Amen. As much as we do to patch up this body and to keep it going. Come on. Amen. We still at one point in time. Amen. He's going to deteriorate. He's going. Amen. He's going to deteriorate. Amen. Because Paul began to explain to him, he said, if this earthly house of tabernacle will dissolve, he said, I got another building. Come on, somebody. Amen. And the reason why he was saying that is because he was talking, I'm sorry, but he was talking to believers. Amen. And when I say believers, that means people that are working on the afterlife house. Amen. Amen. What you do in this life depends on where you go in the next life. Come on, somebody. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. They have a song say, everybody talk about heaven ain't going. Amen. Amen. But Paul was addressing this to the church because if the church ain't got no hope, ain't nobody got no hope. Come on, somebody. So he began to tell them, he said, you know, this urban vessel, 
uh, that we are dwelling in, amen, this tent or this tabernacle, at some point, amen, this is going to dissolve. Amen. And when it do, if we hold on to Christ and we have faith in him, amen, and faith in his word, amen, and trust him, yeah. amen, we have another one, yeah. amen, in the heavenlies. Yes. He said, not made with hands. Yes. And he said, who builder and maker is God. Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Amen. And it's not going to deteriorate, then. Yes. Amen. We're building a house. Are you working on yours? Yes. Amen. All right, sir. We're building a house. Amen. My subject is, we're building a house. Are you working on yours? All right. See, but the thing of it is, amen, all of us have this house. Watch this. You can see houses and you can see buildings, amen, that deteriorate. Amen. People have real estate, amen, that they have bought, amen, and, 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 and they don't keep up their property and it, it deteriorates. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And even the house you live in, if you don't keep up your property, if you don't work on your house, come on, somebody, amen. Yeah. Amen. It's not going to last. Come on, somebody, say amen. amen. But the thing of it is with this house that God is talking about, it's not meant to last. This body is only, amen, a temporary body. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And so if we understand that, Amen. We'll be working towards the other house. Come on, somebody. That's not built by hands. Amen. And not built by like by man. Amen. But by God, amen. He is the maker of this house. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Now watch this. If you got this house that God has given us, amen. Our earthly vessels, this is talking about us. Amen. We are to take care of what God gives us. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. Some people don't take care of nothing that they have. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. But they want best results. Amen. Some people put everything in their body. Amen. And they want to be still healthy. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. Some people can know something going to harm them and they still do the same thing. They're not taking care of their body. You're not building. You're not, amen, taking care of the house that God gave you, amen. amen. This is called a house. It houses your spirit. It lives in this body. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's the shelter, amen, for what's on the inside. Come on, somebody. Amen. Just temporary shelter. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. We know it's not going to last forever, amen, but we do the best we can to take care of it, amen, as long as as God has us here, because when we leave here, we're going to have another one. Come on, somebody, say amen. We're going to another place. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because if you realize, amen, <clears throat> when we realize, amen, the life that we live, we're working on our house. Yes. See, see, your life is working. You're working on your house. Amen. You're taking care of your house. Your earthly tabernacle, you're taking care of that, amen, when you live on the foundation in 1 Corinthians 3 and 10 that he talks about. You got to build your house on the foundation whose building and maker is God. We can't build our house, amen, on riches. We can't build our house on silver and gold. We can't build our house, amen, on fame and fortune. God, everybody building on everything on their house, but they're not building with God. Come on, somebody say amen. You got to build with God. You got to let him be the foundation. Come on, somebody say amen. We got to wake up, amen, thinking about God. Amen. Wake up, amen. Go to bed, amen, with God on our mind because God... Amen. Is the builder and maker of the tabernacle without hands. Amen. He's the builder and the maker of the tabernacle in the heavens. Amen. If you want a spiritual house, amen. If you want a heavenly home, come on, somebody. Amen. We got to build on the foundation of God. Amen. And what you got to realize, amen, is that God, word, amen, when we do what the word says, when we live by the word, amen, we'll build it on the foundation. Come on, somebody. Say amen. But if you're not building on the foundation, if you're not living by the word, amen, amen, you're building on something else, amen, and it's not going to last. Can somebody say amen? It's not going to last. Amen, because you're building on the wrong thing, amen. Some people so, amen, they spend so much time and energy, amen, in trying to be successful. They're trying to be successful, amen, trying to Amen. Win popularity. Amen. Trying to be in competition with your neighbor. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Trying to do what everybody else is doing. Amen. But you're forgetting the foundation. Amen. Is God. Amen. We got to build, watch this, on something that's going to last. Because the thing that we're building our life and sitting around, amen, is going to deteriorate. Amen. It's going to pass away. 
Huh? Yeah, yeah. One man said one time he was preaching, he said, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. All right, yeah. All right. You didn't bring nothing in this world, and you're not going to take anything out. Amen. Because nothing from nothing leaves nothing. It don't matter how much you have. Yeah. I told my wife, I said, we're going to enjoy our life. All right. <laughs> Amen. I said, I ain't trying to leave no unappreciated people, nothing that don't appreciate nothing. I said, I'm going to spend all I can spend and enjoy what I have while I'm here. Come on, somebody, say amen. But I still know that God is God. I still know that Jesus is my hope, amen. He's my redeemer. Come on, somebody, say amen. Still put God first, amen. But enjoy what he gave you. Come on, somebody, say amen. I ain't trying to leave a whole bunch of stuff here, amen, for somebody that probably won't even appreciate it. Come on, somebody, say amen. amen. And sometimes, amen, it's like that, amen. Sometimes people don't appreciate what you live and how hard you work for what you have. Come on, somebody, say amen. And then they don't appreciate it, amen. And you can't enjoy yourself. Come on, somebody, say amen. Hallelujah. You worried about them. Come on, somebody, say amen. 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 We got to build a house, amen. amen. We want to be in the heavens. Can somebody say amen? amen. Sometimes life will teach us a lesson. Amen. 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 I know somebody, amen. Personal. He got money on top of money. He always making money. He do everything he can do. Amen. And he way past retirement age, and he just will not retire. So he got to have this for his grandchildren. He got to have it for the grandchildren. He got to have this for those. Amen. And old people ain't thinking about him. Amen. Like that. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to have something to leave somebody. Come on, somebody. But you need to enjoy some of what you have while you're here. Can somebody say amen? And not only that, amen, we need to make sure that we got Jesus in the equation. Can somebody say amen? One thing I can say about him, amen, he will come to church, amen. He didn't sit all the way up in the front, amen, but when he sat in the church, amen, he was attentive, amen. We didn't have to worry about him, amen, texting on the cell phone, amen, trying to be on Facebook on the phone. We didn't have to send the urchin back there and tell him to put the phone up. Come on, somebody say amen. We didn't, that wasn't the case. Come on, somebody say amen. He was very attentive, amen, to church and the word going on. Can somebody say amen? A few more minutes. Amen. And so he was a very attentive person. Amen. I said, but he, like my pastor said, she said he was a man of few words. Yeah. He didn't talk a whole lot. He didn't say much. Sometimes you had to pull somebody out of him. Amen. But he, he was kind and he was nice and he was as everything they say well, he was. Amen. But it seemed like to me that he loved church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Looked like he didn't have to be forced. And as you said, he, he would call sometime when she wasn't here. And we were like, what? We looking around for her, but he wasn't. Amen. And so he, he made his decision of where he wanted to be. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen. But we, amen, got to build our house. Amen. But we got to stay on the right foundation. Come on, somebody say amen. See, some people are on the wrong foundation. Amen. But they're working and building on something. Come on, somebody say amen. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to build my empire on earth. Come on, somebody say amen. But Bible said, amen, set your treasures, amen, above. Amen. Set your affection on those things that are above because you got to realize, amen, this life that we live, amen, is temporary life. Come on, somebody say amen. We are pilgrims, as my grandmama used to say. In this world, we're just passing through, amen. We came here, but we didn't come here to stay. Can somebody say amen? We didn't come here to stay. Amen. We just came here, amen, on a journey. Come on, somebody say amen. And in life journey, everybody ought to know, amen, there's going to be some trials. There's going to be some sickness. Come on, somebody. There's going to be some heartaches in this life, amen. Amen. It's going to be some doctor appointments. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Amen. It's going to be some work. Amen. Sometimes you're too tired to do. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Amen. It's going to be some, amen, confusion. Amen. And disappointments. Amen. And depression. Amen. You're going to have some good days and some bad days. Can somebody say amen? Amen. But one thing about it. Amen. Over there. I say over there. Amen. In the heavens, amen. Is a city where there be no sickness. Over there. Where be no disappointments, amen. Over there. It'll be no doctor's appointments. Can somebody say amen? 
Over there. You won't have to go to that job. Come on, somebody. Over there. You won't have to see your supervisor. Amen. amen. Over there. Amen. The Bible said. Amen. He will be no jealousy. Amen. You won't have to deal with jealousy. Come on, somebody. Amen. He won't be no jealous people over there. Amen. He won't be no competition over there. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He won't be no competition. Amen. amen. You ain't got to, amen, have, you ain't got to deal with haters over there. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. Nobody gonna hate you. Amen. amen. Nobody gonna be in competition. Amen. amen. Everybody gonna love everybody. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. We all politicians, amen. amen. Over there, it'll be nobody voting you in and voting you out. Can yeah. somebody say amen? amen? No backbiters over there. Amen. No liars. Yes, no hypocrites. Yeah. Over, there. over there. No hypocrites over there. Yeah. Yes. Glory. But the Bible says it'll be a house yeah. fashioned and not made by hands. Yes. It'll be fashioned after God's blueprint. Yeah. Come on, somebody, yeah. say amen. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to tell God how you want your house, amen. God already know you, amen. He know what you like. Can somebody say amen? God know what kind of furniture you want in it. Come on, somebody, say amen. He know, he know everything about it. He let God know if you want wall to wall carpet. God know you. Come on, somebody, say amen. It's going to be fashioned just for you. Can somebody say amen? Are you working on a house, amen? Are you building on your house, amen? Are you on the right foundation? Can somebody say amen? You got to build on the right foundation. You can't live all your life, people. Amen. And exclude God from it. And then in the end, think he's going to work with you in. He don't work like that. I know you might not want to hear me no more. But I got to tell you the truth. Amen. He don't work like that. Amen. You can't ignore God all your life. Amen. And ain't stunned by God. And then in the end, you think he just going to let you in the gate? No. He don't work like that. Come on, somebody. Uh, why should he? Come on. Amen. Amen. You got to work on the wrong, right foundation. Amen. You got to build on God's word. Amen. Amen. And how you build on the right foundation of the word of God, how you hear the word and you obey the word, you do what the word say. Amen. And if you know you're getting out of the word and you ain't doing it, amen, you're on the wrong foundation. Amen. Get back on amen. the right foundation. Amen. amen. There's some people been out of church so long, amen, they need to get back on the right foundation. Amen. amen. Because you got to realize, amen, that you're only here temporary. And I just want to give you this one for free. Amen. Because you have to realize, amen, we only have so much time in this world. If you're 50 years old, you done already did, you done already spent 6 million hours, amen, 240 hours, amen, of your lifetime, and you ain't got God. Come on, somebody, say amen. And if you're 77 years old, amen, you done spent about a million hours of your life, amen, and you don't have God, amen, there's something wrong with that picture. Amen. At some point from A to B, or from the beginning to the end, Somewhere in the middle, amen, we need to come to God. Can somebody say amen? amen. Because when we leave here, amen, we won't have to have a house, amen, amen. Whether we go up or down, amen, you got one, amen. You're a spiritual house. You'll never, amen, let me explain, you'll never die. Some people say you die. You die is nothing but transportation. Amen. When you die, it ain't nothing but a taxi cab to take you where you're going in the afterlife. Amen. Amen. That's all death is because you can't get there unless you die. So in order to get there, you got to die. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So it's just your cab. It's your Uber. It's your whatever they call them now. All kinds of names. Come on, somebody. It's your trip. It's your Uber. It's your cab. Amen. To take you from the after, from this life to the afterlife. Amen. Wherever you're going, amen. You ain't in charge no more. You ain't in control. Amen. They're going to drive you, amen, up or down. Come on, somebody. Say amen. And at some point in your life, amen, you got to stop worrying about your friends and your family and what people don't think about you. Amen. You got to do like I did one day. Amen. Mama walked in the room and she saw me. She said, you got a Bible? I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> 
<laughs> you better pick up your Bible and you better read that. Amen. You better get yourself to a church and you better sit down like Lucius did. Amen. And listen and be attentive. Come on, somebody. Say amen. You know, some of you done had, you done had all your life to have your fun. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Amen. And at some point, amen, you need to stop and think. I need to be prepared, amen, for where I'm going. Come on, somebody. Say amen. I need to build my house. Amen. I can't help it, amen, if the world trending is going this way, but you better go the opposite way. Come on, somebody. Say amen. Amen. Don't let nobody, amen. Amen. Talk you, amen, away from church. Amen. Come on. You going to that old church? I wouldn't go to that old church. You better think about yourself. Amen. Because when in the when when it come down to it, at the end of the road, amen. You by yourself and your friends see here doing the same they were doing before, and you got to face God yourself. Come on, somebody say amen. I don't care how good your friends are, ain't nobody going with you, amen. Everybody gonna walk back, amen. When this go in the ground, amen, ain't nobody jumped in there with them. Come on, somebody say amen. No, they don't, amen. They cry all that prayer, amen, but they ain't going there with you. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen. They do all that crying and falling all over, but when you get ready to go. Down, they back up. <laughs> Don't they? You got to build your own house, amen. I'm just telling you the truth, amen. They cry at the funeral and then they drink at the house. Come on, somebody, say amen. They, oh, come on, somebody. I'm just telling you the truth, amen. You got to think about you, amen. You got to think about your life, amen. You got to build on a real foundation, amen. And the foundation is God. Can somebody say amen? Yeah. Am I telling the truth, somebody? Y'all are going to make me preach now. Amen. But I'm out of town. Amen. I'm leaving right now. Amen. But I just want to let you know. Amen. Amen. That don't waste time. Amen. Time is precious. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Love people. Love life. And be sure you love God. Can somebody say Amen. <laughs> Look at somebody say, I got to build my house. <laughs> Look at them again, say, on the right foundation. I've been on the wrong foundation too long. I got to get on the right foundation. Can somebody say yes? Somebody say yes? Hey, sister, she there to the end. <laughs> Francis there to the end. She there to the end, yeah. She there to the end. All the way to the end, she there. That's Lucia's sister. She took care of her brother. She there to the end. Ain't that something? Jazz Red, we love it. Peace out. All right, who you, Miss Francis, who is you got over to the left? This right is here? my niece Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. My sister Ava's Faith. Okay. My niece Mary. Oh. And my niece Shamika. Shamika, all right. Shamika. Tamika. Shamika. Shamika, we got to get it right. Y'all got anything y'all want to say to y'all, auntie? Yeah, we love you. We love you. We love you. And thank you for everything, yeah, for the green family, our auntie. Yes. Yeah. We love you. Are y'all are y'all from here? Yeah, yes, Mobile, Alabama. Alabama. Mobile, Alabama. Trinity God, baby. Trinity God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell them God bless. God, God bless. bless. All right, peace out. To the Lord, all your land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing, and know that the Lord He is God. In other words, I believe David was saying, "Don't give besides yourself." Amen. Amen. <laughs>
talk show and I'm your host Jazz Rhea. I want to this shirt come from California. See that name? That says it all. This come from California. You see that slang? See that saying? We are not going back. Thank you so much for my shirt from California.